Hello everyone. Today I'll be discussing the female reproductive system and the various hormones that are produced by that system. We'll be exploring the anatomy, functions, and roles of the organs involved. I hope you'll find the discussion beneficial. Let's get started. The female reproductive system is composed of internal and external structures. These include the uterus, fallopian tubes, ovaries, cervix and vagina, all of which work together to produce, nurture and transport a fertilized egg to the uterus for implantation and development, giving rise to the possibility of a new life. Additionally, the female reproductive system produces female sex hormones that help in the definition of female characteristics and reproductive health. The female reproductive system consists of several parts that cooperate to enable the production of eggs, their fertilization, and the growth of a baby. These parts are the fallopian tubes, cervix, endometrium, myometrium, uterus, parametrium, cervical canal, and vagina. These components collaborate to form a healthy and effective atmosphere for a successful pregnancy. The female reproductive system consists of organs which are vital to the production and delivery of offspring. Urine is stored in the bladder before exiting through the urethra. The uterus is a muscular organ that houses and nourishes an egg that has been fertilized, until it is ready to be born. Ovaries are responsible for storing and releasing eggs, while the fallopian tubes transfer the egg from the ovary to the uterus. The vagina is a muscular pathway used for sperm entrance and childbirth. The rectum is the termination of the digestive system, and the cervix is the passageway between the uterus and the vagina. The female reproductive system is a vital part of the human body, made up of several interconnected components. These consist of two ovaries, two oviducts, a uterus, a vagina, and external genitalia in the pelvic region. Furthermore, the rectum, urethra, urinary bladder, pubic symphysis, vagina, ovary, and fallopian tube all form part of the female reproductive system. The human reproductive system is composed of numerous organs and hormones that function in unison to enable the creation of new life. These organs comprise the uterus, cervix, vagina, ovaries, and fallopian tubes. They are responsible for the secretion of hormones like estrogen and progesterone which are essential for ovulation, and also facilitates the conveyance of the egg and sperm to meet for fertilization. A brief overview of the female reproductive system includes a pair of ovaries, a pair of fallopian tubes, a uterus, and a vagina. All of these work together for reproduction, and it is essential to understand how they function. The female reproductive system is comprised of numerous parts that collaborate to support procreation, starting from ovulation and finishing with childcare. These main components are the uterus, ovaries, fallopian tubes, cervix, and vagina, in addition to mammary glands. All of these parts are intricately connected in terms of structure and functionality, enabling the necessary environment for a successful pregnancy. Ovaries are highly essential to the human reproductive system, as they are the producers of female gametes and hormones. Specifically, eggs, or ova, are produced within the ovaries, while the release of ovarian hormones such as estrogen and progesterone are vital in regulating the development of reproductive organs and other processes. These ovarian hormones are essential to the female reproductive process. Ovaries are an important part of the female reproductive system and are essential for reproduction. 
They are situated on each side of the lower abdomen and have follicles, which are little pockets that the egg cells are developed in. When ovulation happens, the eggs are launched and are required for fertilization. The two ovaries are located on either side of the uterus. A double-layered fold of peritoneum, termed mesovarium, attaches them to the wall of the abdominal cavity. The hormones secreted by the ovaries are vitally important for the development of female reproductive organs and the regulation of the menstrual cycle. Ovaries are of utmost importance to the female reproductive system. Shaped like almonds, they are found in the lower abdomen area and produce the female hormones estrogen and progesterone. The outside is covered by germinal epithelium, a kind of cuboidal epithelium, while the inner part is enveloped by a layer of visceral peritoneum. Ovaries play a role in fertility through the production and release of eggs to the uterus through the ovarian ligaments and mesovarium. Ovaries are an essential part of the reproductive system. They are situated inside the pelvic region and are responsible for the creation of eggs and also hormones like estrogen and progesterone. The surface of the ovaries is covered with a protective layer of cells called the germinal epithelium and the whole organ is enveloped in a thick connective tissue envelope generally called as tunica albiginia. This capsule not only safeguards the eggs but also assists in their nourishment and development until they are ready to be dispatched into the uterus. Ovaries are situated in the female reproductive system and are responsible for the production of female sex hormones as well as release of the eggs. The stroma of the ovaries, which is the tissue containing the egg follicles, contains an outer cortex and an inner medulla. The outer cortex is formed of cells which create the egg follicles and the inner medulla is composed of blood vessels and connective tissue. The ovaries are reproductive organs located in the female body. The cortex of the ovary has a denser and granular appearance due to the presence of ovarian follicles in various stages of development. The medulla of the ovary contains a loose connective tissue with abundant blood vessels, lymphatic vessels, and nerve fibers. Ovarian follicles are created by the infolding of the germinal epithelium, and the outer cortex can be seen. The human reproductive system is complicated. In the lower abdomen, inside the pelvic region, are two ovaries. These two ovaries are essential for the reproductive process, mainly because they create the female egg cells. The fallopian tubes, also known as oviducts, are an integral part of the human reproductive system. They travel from each ovary to the uterus, and facilitate the fertilization of the egg. Alongside the ovary, uterus, and oviduct, these components are the base of the reproductive system. The fallopian tubes are responsible for allowing the egg and sperm cells to come together. These tubes have three different parts, the infundibulum, which is funnel-like and has finger-like protrusions called fimbriae, the ampulla, and the isthmus. The fimbriae help to move the egg from the ovary into the tube so it can be fertilized. Fallopian tubes are vital parts of the human reproductive system. They have three sections, the ampulla, the isthmus, and the last one which leads to the uterus. The middle part is the widest while the last part is narrower. These fallopian tubes help to move the egg from the ovary to the uterus. Fertilization occurs in the fallopian tubes, also known as oviducts. It is the route from the ovary to the uterus for the ovum or zygote. At the ampulla isthmus junction, the ovum and sperm meet and the fertilized egg begins its journey to the uterus, its final destination.
The uterus, also known as the womb, is a major part of the female reproductive system. It is a large, muscular and highly vascular organ with a pear-shaped structure. Located between the bladder and rectum in the pelvis, the uterus provides a place for the developing fetus to grow during early pregnancy. The human reproductive system consists of various organs and components. These include the uterus, cervix, vagina, fundus of the uterus, ovaries, ovarian ligaments, suspensory ligaments, mesovarium, and mesometrium. All of these structures have a connection to the abdominal wall via the mesometrium. This intricate system is essential for reproductive processes and its organs are remarkable. The uterus is a major organ of a female's reproductive system. It is a pear-shaped organ located in the pelvis and is responsible for the development and protection of a fetus during pregnancy. It is composed of a narrow cervix and a main body called the fundus. The cervix forms a canal that connects the uterus to the vagina, forming the birth canal. It also produces and sustains hormones that regulate a female's reproductive cycle. Our body's reproductive system has the uterus as its particular focus. Composed of three layers, the parametrium that is a thin membrane, the myometrium that is a layer of smooth muscles, and the endometrium a highly vascular and glandular connective tissue, the uterus is divided into four parts. The fallopian fundus, the uterine cavity, the body of the uterus, and the cervix. The uterus, which is part of the female reproductive system, plays an essential role. Its key purpose is to give a secure and healthy home to the growing fetus. It has three sections. The endometrium, the myometrium, and the parametrium. During the menstrual cycle, the endometrium goes through periodic transformation, and during childbirth the myometrium contracts to enable the delivery of the baby. The oviduct widens at the isthmus, which is located between the ampulla and uterus. It acts as a bridge between the fimbriae and oviduct. The vagina is a large, median fibromuscular tube that runs from the cervix to the vestibule between the labia minora. It forms an important part of the female reproductive system and is lined with non-keratinized stratified squamous epithelium that helps safeguard the internal organs from external harm. The human reproductive system is complex and serves to sustain the human race. The female reproductive system is composed of a number of essential components, one of them being the vagina. The walls of the vagina are full of blood vessels and the opening to the vestibule is formed by the vaginal orifice. The hymen, a mucous membrane, partially conceals the vaginal orifice and is an indispensable part of the female reproductive system. The female external genitalia, or vulva, comprises of a complex system of organs and tissues. It is characterized by a vestibule which has two apertures, the upper urethral orifice, representing the opening of the urethra, and the lower vaginal orifice, which is the opening of the vagina. This particular anatomy is vital for the functioning of both reproductive and urinary functions. The female external genitalia, generally referred to as the vulva or pudendum, consists of two sets of fleshy tissue folds. The vestibule of the vulva is bordered by the labia minora, the inner, thinner pair of lips, and the labia majora, the external, thicker pair of lips. It should be noted that female external genitalia can vary greatly from individual to individual. The clitoris is an important part of the human reproductive system, located at the upper junction of the two labia minora near the urethral orifice. It shares many similarities to the male penis, both supported internally by corpora cavernosa. 
Above the labia majora is a cushion of fatty tissue called the mons pubis, which is covered by skin and pubic hair. All these organs combined form a vital part of the body's reproductive system. Female accessory reproductive glands include the Bartolin's or greater vestibular glands, Skene's glands or lesser vestibular glands, and mammary glands. These glands are located within the female reproductive system and they are essential reproductive organs. Bartolin's glands secrete a thick, sticky substance that lubricates the vagina during sexual intercourse. Skene's glands secrete a fluid which is thought to be involved in female ejaculation during sexual excitement. Mammary glands are responsible for producing milk to nourish the infant. The Bartolin's or greater vestibular glands are situated slightly behind and to the left and right areas of the vaginal opening. They primarily create mucus which serves as a lubricant for the vagina, to enhance comfort during intercourse. Skene's glands are part of the female reproductive system and are located on the anterior wall of the vagina near the lower end of the urethra. Stimulation of these glands produces a lubricating fluid, similar to the male prostate gland, which is necessary for comfort and pleasure during sexual activity. Female accessory glands, most notably mammary glands, are essential components of the human reproductive system. Mammary glands manifest as paired structures that consist of a combination of glandular tissue and fat. These glands comprise of mammary lobules, mammary tubules, and mammary ampulla which all function together. Furthermore, the lactiferous duct is part of the mammary glands and serves the purpose of transporting milk to the nipples. Female accessory glands are composed of mammary glands and fat. Mammary glands are comprised of 15 to 20 lobes, each having alveolar clusters of cells. Fat serves as a cushion and provides added protection to mammary glands. They play a significant role in the reproductive system and are a necessity for the nutrition of infants. The human reproductive system is essential in providing new life. The alveoli in the mammary glands open into mammary tubules, where cells secrete milk to fill up the lumens of the alveoli. This milk is then fed to newborns. Female anatomy includes several extra glands, mainly mammary glands for milk production. Mammary gland lobes have several mammary tubules, starting from fat tissue underneath the skin. All the mammary tubules join together to form a larger mammary duct, connecting to a wider mammary ampulla. Mammary glands are present in both male and female, however only in females, these glands produce milk to nurture the newborn. Each mammary gland is composed of a number of fatty lobules which are connected to the mammary ampulla via a lactiferous duct that transports the milk to the nipple. The fat tissues provide insulation and defense to the lactiferous ducts. The milk is then drawn out by the baby through the nipple. Female accessory glands contain mammary glands with an intricate system of lobes, tubules, ducts and ampullae all responsible for milk production. Milk production is essential for providing nutrition to offspring, and mammary glands are an important part of the human reproductive system. Discussing the human reproductive system, specifically the birth canal which is formed by the vaginal canal and the uterus, 
It is important to remember that this is distinct from the fallopian tube and cervix, as well as the fallopian tube and vagina. Appreciating the time taken to learn more about this topic.